ASRock released an updated BIOS for their X470 Tai Chi, and you know what that means. More testing. This time I'll be looking mostly at just the gaming. As well, I'll be taking a quick retest of Cinebench R20 multi-core benchmark. I'll be comparing all the previous testing I've done as well as adding in a very mild overclock of 4.2 gigahertz on the Ryzen 5 3600 as well as having the XMP profile set which is 3600 megahertz with the timings of 18, 22, 22, 42. Just a quick recap of the hardware. The Ryzen 7 1700 at both stock and overclock to 3.9 gigahertz. The Ryzen 5 2600 at stock and overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz. The Ryzen 5 3600 at stock and now overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. The motherboard is the ASRock X470 Tai Chi, now with the 3.50 BIOS. The CPU cooler is the Fractal Design Celsius S24. I have two 8 gig sticks of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. The memory for the 1700 and the 2600 was running at 3400 megahertz. For the stock 3600, it was running at 2666 megahertz. And for the overclock 3600, it was running at 3600 megahertz. The reason I have the different RAM frequencies is because that was what was stable at the time of testing. And I have not gone back and retested. The video card again is the Zotec GTX 1070 Mini. The power supply is the EVGA 650 GQ. The OS drive is a 250 gig Western Digital Blue SATA 3 M.2 SSD. And the game drive is a Team Group L5 Lite 1 terabyte SSD. Most of the games were tested using the lowest preset the game has in an attempt to remove the GPU as a bottleneck. The thing is, when overclocking the Ryzen 5 3600 in Resident Evil 2, Far Cry 5, and The Division 2, the system is starting to become bottlenecked by the GPU. Although we still see a gain of 10% in The Division 2 and Resident Evil 2, with a 12% gain in Far Cry 5, this is over the overclocked 2600. The GPU starting to become bottlenecked does mean that the average FPS could be higher if I had something faster than a GTX 1070. Faster by how much? I don't really know but it does look like it's time for the test rig to get a new video card. Now when we look at Vermintide 2 and CSGO, where the GPU isn't causing any sort of bottleneck, there is a 19% gain in Vermintide 2 and a 15% gain in CSGO over the overclocked 2600. And finally we have the Cinebench R20 multi-core benchmark, where the overclocked 3600 is 21% higher than the overclocked 2600 and is only 1% behind the overclocked 1700. Wow, memory speed really makes a big difference with Ryzen, doesn't it? Now with all the good stuff out of the way, there is still something odd happening. Even when I manually input the voltages, the VID is still bouncing around in hardware monitor, all the way up to 1.55 volts now. Uh, this is only happening when the CPU is idle, so I feel like this is more of a hardware monitor issue than anything to do with the motherboard or the CPU. On another note, I also have this, the ASRock B450M Pro 4. So I was thinking uh, maybe updating the BIOS and giving a little test run with the uh, 3600. But that is going to be for another day because that's all I have for now. All the normal stuff, if you like the video you know what to do subscribe, click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.